In this GlowShift Gauges installation video, we'll show you how to install a GlowShift 7 Color Series Diesel Gauge Package into your 2014 to 2019 GMC Sierra or Chevy Silverado Duramax truck. When you're ready, grab your tools and we'll meet you in the garage. The additional accessories featured in this video will make installation easier and can be purchased through our website. For the purposes of this installation, we will be using a 2019 GMC Sierra 2500 to install our gauges. For safety, disconnect both negative battery terminals before starting any work on the truck. To install the boost line, start by removing the air intake tube. Locate a flat portion of the intake manifold and use a punch to mark the location for drilling. Starting with a 1 8 inch drill bit, drill a hole in the manifold, increasing the bit size until size R is reached. Use a shop vac to clean up any metal shavings. Use a 1 8 27 NPT tap to thread the hole. Wrap the male threads of the 1 8 NPT boost line adapter with Teflon tape. Place the adapter into the manifold and tighten using an 11 mm wrench. Place the female brass fitting onto one end of the boost line followed by the brass ferrule fitting. Then connect it to the boost line adapter and tighten using a 3 8 inch wrench. Ensure the ferrule fitting is facing towards the motor to prevent any leaks. Run the boost line to the driver's side of the engine bay, securing it away from any hot or moving parts and reinstall the air intake tube. To install the EGT probe, start by raising the truck. Remove the passenger side front wheel. And remove the wheel well liner using a T15 Torx bit. Using a 17 mm wrench, remove the factory EGT probe. Using a 10 mm socket and wrench, remove the two rear heat shields on the exhaust manifold. With the heat shields removed, locate the open area in front of the collector on the exhaust manifold. Using a punch, mark the location for drilling. 
Starting with a 1 8 inch drill bit, drill a pilot hole into the manifold, gradually stepping up the bit size until size R is reached. Use a pin magnet and a shop vac to ensure there are no metal shavings left in the manifold. Use a 1 8 27 NPT tap to thread the hole. Cutting oil can be used to make threading the hole easier. Apply anti-seize to the EGT probe adapter, insert it into the manifold, and tighten it using a 14 mm wrench or socket. You will need to cut a hole in the heat shield for the EGT probe to pass through. Mock up the center heat shield onto the manifold, and using a small hammer or mallet, lightly tap the outside of the heat shield where the fitting is. Remove the heat shield and use a 1 and 1 half inch hole saw to cut a hole in the shield at the indent. Place the heat shield onto the manifold and secure it using the factory bolts. Reinstall the heat shield and the factory EGT probe. Slide the EGT probe into the ferrule fitting adapter until the probe depth is roughly at the center of the manifold and tighten it using a 14 mm wrench. Run the connector side of the probe to the top of the engine bay. Reinstall the wheel well liner and the wheel. If you purchased a gauge package with a fuel pressure gauge and a 3 8 inch quick disconnect adapter, start by inserting the pressure sensor into the adapter and tighten it using a 21 millimeter wrench. Remove the threaded port plug from the adapter. Wrap it with Teflon tape and reinstall it into the adapter, tightening it using a 5 mm Allen key. Disconnect the factory fuel line under the rear driver's side of the truck in front of the fuel cooler. Install the sensor and adapter onto the fuel line and tighten it with a 21 millimeter wrench. Insert the sensor harness onto the sensor and run the opposite side to the engine bay, keeping it clear of any hot or moving parts. When mounting the sensor in this location, the extended length 18 foot pressure sensor harness will be needed. 
If you purchased a gauge package with a transmission temperature gauge, start by wrapping the sensor with Teflon tape. Place the sensor into the test port extender and tighten them using 14 millimeter wrenches. Locate the factory port plug next to the transmission filter and remove it using a 9-16 inch socket. Be sure to have a drain pan ready to catch any fluid that may drain from the transmission. Insert the test port extender and sensor into the port and tighten them using a 14 millimeter wrench. Wipe away any transmission fluid with a rag. Attach the female silver connector and the longer rubber cover to one end of spare 18 gauge automotive wire. Then attach the male silver connector and short rubber cover to one end of a second piece of spare 18 gauge automotive wire. Insert the female connector and wire into the white wire from the temperature sensor and connect the male connector to the black wire from the sensor. Run the opposite end of the wires around the transmission and up through the engine bay on the driver's side, securing them away from any hot or moving parts. With the truck back on the ground, Pull the EGT probe wire up through the engine bay. Connect the braided EGT gauge harness wire to the probe wire and run the opposite end to the driver's side firewall, securing it away from any moving parts. Pull the transmission temperature wires up through the engine bay and run the boost line to the firewall, securing them away from any hot or moving parts. Attach a ring terminal connector to the ground wire from the transmission temperature sensor. Connect the wire to a clean, reliable grounding source in the engine bay. Disconnect the power harness from the electronic module on the driver's side firewall and use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the three bolts. Once the bolts are removed, remove the module to gain access to the main harness pass-through grommet. Cut the nipple on the main harness pass-through grommet and feed the EGT wire, boost line, and green trans temp wire through the firewall and into the cabin. Be sure to keep them clear of any moving parts. Apply Teflon tape to the fitting on the back of the boost gauge and attach the boost line adapter. Tighten it using a 13 millimeter wrench. Do not over tighten the adapter as it will damage the gauge. Feed the wires for the boost gauge through the pod and insert the gauge into the cup. 
insert the remaining gauges into the pod. Insert the power harnesses for the EGT and transmission temperature gauges. Using the yellow wire from the three gauge wiring kit, connect all of the yellow wires together. Using the red wire from the three gauge wiring kit, connect all of the red wires together. Using the orange wire from the three gauge wiring kit, connect all the orange wires together. Using the black wire from the three gauge wiring kit, connect all the black wires together. Use zip ties to clean up the wires. Carefully remove the factory trim from the truck by removing the bolt covers with a flat head screwdriver and remove the two 10 millimeter pillar retaining bolts. Pull back the weather stripping, remove the side dash cover and run the sensor wires up through the dash to the pillar. Place the brass ferrule fitting cap over the boost line followed by the brass ferrule fitting. Ensure the ferrule fitting is facing the gauge to prevent any leaks. Place the boost line into the adapter and tighten the cap onto the gauge using a 3 8 inch wrench. Do not over tighten the fitting. Insert the EGT harness connector into the back of the EGT gauge. Using a wire connector, connect the signal wire from the transmission temperature sensor to the green wire from the gauge power harness. Run the power wires down through the dash. Insert the supplied plastic clip into the upper oval hole of the pillar where the spring clip was secured. Install the pod onto the pillar and use the included screw to secure it to the pillar. Reinstall the weather stripping and side dash panel. Feed the power wires through the firewall and into the engine bay. Be sure to keep them clear of any moving parts.
Reinstall the electronic module and connect the power harness. For this installation, we will be powering the gauges using expandable circuits, which can be purchased through our website. Reconnect the negative battery terminals and remove the fuse box cover to gain access to the fuses. Using a test light, locate fuse number 19 for constant 12 volt power. Then locate fuse number 34 for 12 volt ignition power. Lastly, locate fuse number 15 for 12 volt headlight power. Remove the constant 12 volt fuse and place it into the first Micro 2 expandable circuit. Attach the circuit to the yellow wire from the gauges and place the circuit into the fuse's location in the fuse box. Remove the ignition 12 volt fuse and place it into the second Micro 2 expandable circuit. Attach the circuit to the red wire from the gauges. And place the circuit into the fuse's location in the fuse box. Remove the headlight 12 volt fuse and place it into the mini expandable circuit. Attach the circuit to the orange wire from the gauges and place the circuit into the fuse's location in the fuse box. Reinstall the fuse box cover. Lastly, attach the black wire from the gauges to a reliable grounding source in the engine bay. Power your gauges by starting the truck to verify that everything is working properly and there are no leaks. Be sure to check the level of the transmission fluid and top off with factory recommended transmission fluid if necessary. You've now successfully installed your Glowshift 7 Color Series Diesel Gauge Package into your 2014 to 2019 Duramax. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please contact us at 1-888-GS-GAGE, and we'll see you on the road.